Hey guys, welcome to part two of this series. In the first part, I showed you how to make a wordmark logo for your stream. In this part, we're gonna be making a badge style logo for your stream. So with that said, let's get into it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I am your content cleric and around here we make videos just like this to help you level up your stream using free and simple tools. So Canva is our bread and butter. I love Canva. There's so many tools and utilities for Canva and if you don't already have a, um, a, a Canva Pro account, I have a 45 day free trial link down below for you to check out. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. We're looking at badge logo. So if you're not familiar with a, a badge logo, this is roughly what we're talking about here. A lot of times a badge logo has more of a, a vintage style. Uh, you can see these right here have kind of a, a vintage style, um, but they're not exclusive to that. So we can do a, a gaming badge logo um, and you'll see this is considered a badge logo. I would, I would maybe consider this more of a mascot, mascot badge logo. Um, but you can see this is still a, a badge style logo. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna lean a lot more into like the more popular circular style, but we'll look at a few others that, that they have to offer as well. Um, and so actually let's just right here on Canva's homepage, let's just search badge logo and see if we get something that we could use. Yeah, so um, very traditional style badge logo. Some of them are really nice. Some are actually really, really clean. Uh, so let me, let's me let go ahead and just start this under the correct mindset for this series. Um, I had ChatGPT give me five uh, random gamer names, and then I had it just randomize it down to just three. And so we already did Blaze Storm in the first part, which I'll have a link down below if you wanna see how to do a, a letter mark style logo. Um, this is a badge style, and so we'll be doing this one right here, which is Vortex Gamer. So let's keep in mind that as we're looking through these templates, right? Vortex Gamer. So to me, it definitely has to have a gamer vibe, maybe even using some like pixel pixelized text or something, maybe not. Um, but I'm just keeping that in mind. I want it to be really new feeling um, and yeah, which is <laughs> new feeling with a badge style logo. That's interesting. So check this one out. This Asphalt Sports Gaming kind of has an interesting feel to it. Or even this Lionsgate right here has a, has a neat feel. So I'm just looking, trying to find something. This right here, the, the original burger. That one's, that one's kind of cool, actually. I'll, I'll, I dig it. I don't know for this one, but I like it. Oh, man. Okay, I'm trying to, trying to get some ideas here. What we want to do. What do we want to do? Let's just go kind of with a classic for now. Um, this one right here. I think this is a good one. This one or... I like this one, it's a little bit simpler. So, and, and a lot of times if you click on it, it'll give you some more options down here that are similar to the one you just clicked on. Um, I think, actually that's that's kind of cool. Could I see that? What was, the, what was the name, Vortex Gamer? Vortex Gamer. That could look cool. Honestly, if you just wanna make something really quick, that could look cool, but we'll go with this one. We did say a badge style, so we will do a badge style. I literally uh, thought of the three most popular logo types that you know a gamer would probably want and, and if it was like letter mark badge and, and mascot. And maybe uh, like a logo mark, uh, which I kind of made within the um, within the badge one that we made, or no, within the word letter mark one we made. Okay, so let's start here. So I think what I want to do here, I'm definitely not keeping this middle part, but I'm going to keep it for now. I just want to replace it with, uh, with a circle. And so I'm going to type in circle and I'm going to go under graphics. Uh, and this one right here is perfect. So I'm actually just gonna delete that out of the middle and I'm gonna put this in the middle. Oh, it's already white, so let's change it and I'll just change it to the same blue that we're using throughout. There we go, okay. And let's make sure that this is middled and centered. Is everything else? I'm just gonna group everything else real quick and make sure that it is, yeah, okay. It is middled and centered. Okay, perfect, let's ungroup it. Okay, so now that we have this, we're gonna actually look for, I'm just gonna type in vortex. That is the very first word of the logo. Let's see what we can find. Okay, pretty good so far. I mean, I could easily go with something like this, change this color to white. And then you kind of have this, this I think could be a cool look. Let's, let's make sure it's uh, centered. Uh, to me, it doesn't look centered, so I'm just gonna notch it over one. And then we could go with what, vortex gamer, right? Vortex gamer. And we'll say, let's we'll put this as live on Twitch. Or you know what? Yeah, we'll do, we'll stay with Twitch, but you could easily put Kick or YouTube or whatever you want. I don't like this font for this at all, so I'm gonna change this. Um, the last tutorial we went, uh, I think we went, no, we went with, um, ah, I forget the name of the font, but anyway, on this one we're gonna go with Futura, and we'll actually, 
We'll go with Futura and then we'll make it, uh, we'll keep it bold. There we go, I think that's good. I'm gonna actually shrink it in just a little bit because I want to grab my spacing and I wanna bring my letter spacing um, almost all the way. I think something like that looks pretty good. And you can see, as I'm going smaller, I'm gonna to have to adjust my curve. So I'm going under effects, under curve, and I'm just gonna bring my curve the other way, out like this, to where it matches the curvature of the circle. I think about there, I think it looks pretty good. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, right click, I'm gonna hit copy style, and I'm just gonna paint it back on this one. Obviously the curvature is the wrong way, but if I go a minus 38, that should put us there. And then I'm just going to size this guy down and maybe we drop the letter spacing on this one just a hair to make it line up a little better. Yeah, I think something like that looks pretty good. I'm gonna adjust that curvature just a hair because um, it's not quite right. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's make it all caps. Okay, so this right here is a pretty good start, but what if in the middle, instead of the, you know, the, the Vortex Gamer, like what if, actually, let's let's flip our colors. I think I wanna flip the colors real quick. Uh, and so I actually wanna make the background this, this color. Oh, look, my font wasn't even the same color. And then this, I actually wanna make like a light blue. We'll just go with this one. Yeah, I think it looks good. And I'm gonna hold down control as I click and that should select, ah, oh, maybe not. All right, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go to position, I'm gonna go to layers. I'm going to select this and now they'll have that selected. I can just click it there. Yeah, there we go. And we're seeing that it's not, it's not working as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these that same blue color. I um, definitely could go with like a white here, but I think that's fine. Um, okay, so this I don't think is working anyway. So let's look in here, sort of like we did with the letter mark logo. Let's look for a letter symbol, right? So I'm just gonna go with V. I'm looking for something that has kind of a vortex feel. This I think kind of looks cool. Not that it has a vortex feel, but um, I think that it's a, a cool looking mark that we could easily center up like that. Um, and then make it, you know, the color of the background. And then it's like kind of cut out, make it a little bigger, right? That, I mean, has a cool look and feel to it. I'm gonna bump this up a notch, right? I, that has a cool look and feel. Uh, let's keep looking something like this. Check this one out. See how we can just kind of toy with this. And, and come up with a few different designs and ideas like this. Uh, yeah, so let's just, let's keep looking. That one is cool. Man, it is, it is honestly close. So let's, let's, let's just duplicate it. We'll delete this one out and we'll put this one in there like that, right? Change the color to the blue in the background. And that, I mean, as far as a badge logo goes, this is clean, right? This is nice. So that is like probably the one we're gonna stick with, but let's jump over here back to design. Look at these. And I'm just gonna type in badge and, and just see if we can't generate up another idea, right? Just something a little bit different, maybe a little bit more modern. Um, I don't know, let's just go with a gamer badge. Okay, so for I, this one is here. I just wanna see if we can do something. I don't know if we can, right? So let's just change the, this already to uh, Vortex Gamer, right? And if you wanna put something here live on Twitch, I don't, don't don't put that in your logo. Just this this should just be your logo, not, not the, the gorilla. Uh, so let's change, let's go with a, a tornado, right? That's, that's what I think of when I think of a vortex. Is that a vortex? I don't know. To me, this is leaving a little bit of the area of a badge logo anyway. Um, I do like the concept though. So let's see if we can't do anything fancy with it. I want the bottom to be flat ish. What if we did the triangle like this kind of reverse the, uh, reverse of the, the tornado, the cyclone make the cyclone a bit larger. Right now from here, I could crop it pretty easily to where it you know, goes to the edge. Something like that, right? I really, man, I really wanna be able to crop this edge where it looks like it's behind it. All right, let me play with this for a second. Okay, so I think I was thinking about this almost entirely the wrong way. So I did crop up the bottom of the, um, of the tornado where it kind of looks like it doesn't go through it, um, maybe that is incorrect. Maybe I should have it the other way. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's let's actually just undo the crop that I had done in, uh, on this entirely, um, like that. And then what if we bring our what if we bring our what if we bring our um, triangle here to the top like this, right? Now the the vortex is on top. And now what if we duplicate this? So I'm just gonna put this over here, and I want to actually crop the side of this. I think like that. 
bring it back in, something like that. And then this one, I crop to come even. Right, uh, almost. Now I grab it. I have to be like super, super precise. That's close, okay. Then I could actually go to my position and I can bring this one below the tornado. So now it seems like the tornado is kind of in, in it. You see how it's, it's kind of waving through like, uh, if I could, and maybe I had time, I would toy around see if I couldn't get like one of the little blades to come out. I don't know. Something like this, I think has a really cool feel to it. Now maybe we we come over and we make the tornado actually, you know, a darker color to our background. We make our background a little bit of a like, you know, softer, I don't know, maybe closer, closer to white. Maybe not all the way white. Eh, let's go all the way white. And then we make our this like uh, that. Now, with that said, I think we have far left the realm of a badge logo, so forget everything we just did with this one. That one doesn't count. Uh, but okay, let's go back to our designs here. Let's create a new page. And let's just gamer badge. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think the simplest way to probably do a gamer badge is to go something kind of crazy and silly like this one, right? We will get rid of this guy. I will bring this back to the middle. Give it like this silly green color. Um, and I think you're in the realm, right? This is this is just simple. I don't I don't like this style, but I know other people do. I am much more simple and minimal. This is this is my jam. All right, so this will be what I use for the example of the badge logo. But as you can see, you can kind of go crazy. You can make whatever you want. If you like the badge logo style, I figure you probably like this kind of retro style anyway. Uh, and so hey, there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you make it unique. I hope this is helpful. And if it was, make sure you check out the final part of this series, uh, the final part of the logo portion of this series. Uh, in the next video where we'll be making a mascot logo. I know a lot of people love mascot logos. We'll be doing it completely custom in mid journey. So I'll have it linked in the card or right here in the end screen or down below. Uh, and if this, if this video has been out for like a week, go ahead and make sure you look on the channel uh, because the overlays for these logos may be up. And so there'll be three different videos, one for each logo and how I would do the overlay for that branding. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. And if you haven't already sub to the channel, hit the little bat, the little bell notification so you never miss one of these videos. Hey, and follow me over on Twitch. I stream late at night and we do a lot of these videos live on stream. So anyway, hope to see you guys over there and I'll see you in the next one.